Good afternoon, everyone. I'm back, Lucha FM, with a, another Fight Club Pro episode. Um, where you left us off last, we were basically just trying to... Um, basically, we made Edge the new champion to try and get more eyes on the product. Um, with him and Pac being in the, in the, on the roster, sorry, um, it improved our popularity, I think. It improved our... We got more better crowds. Um, we managed to get our biggest ever crowd at the last big event that we did. So um, now we're try I'm trying to figure out whether to stay with Edge as champion for a while or go with Pack. I'm swaying more towards Edge staying as the champion for a bit, but I mean, you know how frantic and chaotic my booking style is. I've changed my mind about 50 times before I actually do it. I never really pre-plan anything. I think it's more fun that way, just to get a feel for what's going on. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's it really. I'm not going to go on about the in, in the intro for too long i'm just gonna crack on so i'll be back in a sec with the first show of the episode right so here we are first show of the episode um afterburn episode 48 i can't believe we've got 48 um, episodes of afterburn it's going so quick right so what we'll do first is i think is start with a tag team match. I literally had an idea in my head today to start a new oh, start a new title called the Six Way Championship, and then realised that it was already suddenly put in my head because I know TNA. I think I've got a Six Way Championship. Not that I watch TNA, but obviously I I, I listen to a lot of podcasts and some of them talk about TNA. I was like, oh damn, they've nicked my idea before I even could come out with it. So. I'm gonna go a six-way single. I'm not gonna do a tag team match yet. Um, we're not. We haven't got a six-way um, championship, by the way. I'm not. I'm not gonna bother with it. It was just an idea in my head. So we'll start the show with some of our best workers in a six-man a six-man match. Sorry, um, I'm gonna put Gabe Stevenson in there. I think I'm just trying to. I'm gonna try and get him in there with as many good wrestlers as possible. Um, Rich Swan, Rampage. Who else? Scotty Davis. Uh, Paris De No, not Paris De Silva. Um, not Nathan Martin, because he'll probably be in the tag team match. Somebody said about pushing Luke Jacobs. So I'll put Luke Jacobs in there. And then, hmm, what, who will be the last one? Kid Like Us 2. There you go. So we've got at least three workers in there. Uh, one, two, three, potentially four with Scotty Davis, depending on what mood he's in. We'll go 18 minutes, we'll leave it blank. That'll be the match to kick off the show. And then what we'll do now is a, a women's match. Actually, we'll do a women's six ma six woman match as well. Why the hell not? We'll have Gulia. Uh, who else? Who else? Zaya. Valkyrie. Oh, Valkyrie. Um, hmm, let's have a think. Jetta. Oh no, I can't do Jetta, she's pregnant. Who else is pregnant? There's somebody else is pregnant, isn't there? Who did I say was pregnant on the game the other day? Oh, I can't remember. Anyway, I'll put Ayesha Ray in there. Uh, we'll try Bianca Corelli. And then we'll put, um, Pom Harajaku. We are really scraping the barrel now with the women's division, unfortunately. I assume, I think Goody is the women's champion. I could be wrong. Yeah. So we'll just have a bit of stability in the women's division and we'll have Gulia win retain her title. Valkyrie's furious, but she'll just have to deal with it. So what I'll do is we'll have Valkyrie attack Gulia after the match. And then we'll put them in a match. Oh, next episode. My mouse, for some reason, drags all the way to the corner where the search box is. Um, for no reason whatsoever. Someone let me know in the comments section. Any tech wizards that watch this, please let me know why it does that. Because my mouse pad is here. And then if I click, it just suddenly comes down to here in the search box. It's very frustrating. Right, so we've done 49 minutes. We've got 65 minutes in total, so that gives us like 16 minutes, but I know we're going to have to do another angle. 
Um, or will we? Maybe. Let's try. Let's do the match first. So we'll do a match one on one. Um, I guess I won't have time for a, a, a tag title match. I can do that next show. So what we'll do is, do you know what? For a laugh. Oh no, I better not. I was going to do Edge versus Blue Kane, but I think that would absolutely not be good at all. I'm going to put Nathan Mark. Oh no, I think I've already done that much. I think I've already done that much. We did do Joseph Connors, and that was a really good match. I'm tempted to do that again. I've already done Thomas Billington. Let's have a look. Let's see who else is. I think we've done Parker, but yeah, we did do Pack versus Edge. I think that was their first match together. Who else can we do? What else can we do? Edge versus Davy Boy Smith Jr. Maybe not exactly be the most exciting match in the world. Actually, do you know what? I don't know what happened there? Um, two seconds because I know this is going to annoy the hell out of me. I'm just going to turn off sound so you don't keep hearing that noise every time I cough up. Right, so I think that's going to be the main event. We'll just do twelve minutes. Heavyweight title, Edge retaining. We'll do still the show. Hopefully Edge can keep up. Oh. Oh, is Edge not the champion anymore? Oh, I think I put it on pack, on pack, didn't I? Oh, I'm such a bloody idiot. Right. Ignore what I said in the intro, everybody. <laughs> um, how silly of me. up there right well i'm pat retain his title then i couldn't believe it i mean i only did this last week my memory is so bad right so we're definitely going to be penalized here so if we knock this down 12 minutes and then i uh, won't be penalized so that's that's fine right then. so um, Gabe Stevenson won in the six-man match. He had a performance of 68, so not too bad. He is in there with really good workers, though. Rich Swan got an 84, 84. Rampage Brown, 78. Scotty Davis at 83, which was really good. Luke Jacobs only with a 65, but I think, like I said, like somebody said in the comment section, in time, hopefully he'll get better with experience, so we'll just keep putting him in matches. Um, Kid like us too, 86. He was probably the standout performer. Right, women's six man, uh, six woman, sorry, got a seventy six rating. Julia with a seventy eight performance, which is really good. Um, Valkyrie with a seventy four. The rest not very good at all. Elite Aisha Ray did okay, I suppose. Um, Pom Harajuku did okay, but yeah, overall, the women's division is so poor lately. I can't just keep doing Julia versus Valkyrie. Um, like I said, it's just one of them. There's nothing we can do about it until we can bring in other workers. Right, so the main event in an exceptional match got a 90 rain, which is amazing. Again, Puck defends his title successfully. He got an 81. Darren Kearney outshone him with 83. Puck and Darren Kearney have great chemistry, so that's really good to know. So we've got Puck and Darren Kearney have great chemistry, and Edge and Joseph Connors have great chemistry as well. So that's really good. Improved our increased our popularity in one region. 83 rating overall, 146 people turned up. So nice to see a gradual progression in the amount of people we're getting coming into the Afterburn episodes now. 146, which isn't too bad at all. So, um, right, what I'll do, because this will take a while, I'll be back in a sec with the next episode, next part of the episode. Right, we're back and we've got um, Pulp Fiction 4. So I assume that means we're in year four of this save, which doesn't seem like I've I've never done a TW save this long in my life. Um, so it's quite cool in a way. But anyway, we've got oh god, it's so boring. I wish I'd stop that. Right. Uh we'll do a psycho sermon. Hopefully that'll help make everybody play it, be at their best. So what we're doing we're gonna do to kick off the show, we're gonna have a women's match. Um Exclude already booked. And then we'll do what we'll do is let's have a think. We can't have Kimberly in there because she's on maternity leave. Um who is the where's my women's champion go? Where's she gone? 
got Valkyrie. Why can't I remember who my... Honestly, today, in my mind, is like the Sith. Yeah, Julia. So Julia's elsewhere today, so we can't we can't have her in there, which is annoying. Oh, isn't she isn't? What am I on about? Everybody, I'm so sorry. I had a brain fart. Right, because the mouse is not working properly today, I'm just going to do that, and then we'll put Valkyrie. So probably our two strongest women's worker, women's wrestlers. So we'll have them in there, and we'll go 18 minutes for the women's title we'll leave it blank we'll let the ai decide um we'll go with the instruction of open match all that match yeah so that'll that'll kick off the show we'll do a post match beat down um valkyrie fight in julia selling that done right next match we'll have is we'll do um what i'm going to do is just this is going to be a pre-show match i've got a few women's wrestlers that haven't wrestled for us yet i'm just going to see if they're available really uh i think actually i won't be able to do it um riser sierra no uh Miu hasn't Riser Sarah, I don't think she's wrestled. Uh, Mystique was complaining earlier about not getting any match time. Uh, who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Isla Dawn was complaining as well, so we'll put her in there. And then we'll put Giselle Shaw in there, because I don't, I don't think she's wrestled for us yet. So we'll just put that in there. 15 minute pre show match just to keep the women happy on that side. Right. Let's get back to the main show. So what we'll do now is we'll do. Tag team title match. We'll go 18 minutes. And we'll have... Oh no, wrong button. Sorry, that one. So we'll have Darren Kearney and Nathan Martin versus... Who hasn't wrestled as a tag team for a while? Just get it good. I think I'm just going to have to put the showstoppers in there, even though they've wrestled already against these. But I know at least Kid Lycos will put in a good performance and so will Nathan Martin, Darren Kearney, even though Amazing Red, unfortunately. Do we protect? I'm going to protect Amazing Red. I'm going to go steal the show. Tag titles on the line. Uh, I'll leave it blank. I don't. I think it's just going to automatically give it to more than hype, but you never know. And then what we'll do is Nathan Martin on the mic. Darren Kearney on the mic. Amazing red. No, not Amanda Rodriguez. That could have been annoying. We'll do that as a pre-match. Back and forth on the mic. Before the match, like so. Right, so we've done 45 minutes, 49 minutes so far, so we've still got plenty of time. I know what the two main matches are going to be um, in my head. I just don't know what the other matches are going to be. We'll do a three versus three match. We'll have Dave Mastiff, Davey Boy Smith, and who else? Who else? Male. C Cyber. No, no, no. Chris Hero. This is Cybernetico, Danny Mumbruiser, and Danny Duggan. As just like a throwaway 15 minute match. Uh, all right, so what do we do now? Four way singles? We'll go four way singles. Uh, we'll have Blue Kane in there, Levi Muir. And then who do we put them in there with? Gabe Stevenson. I'll leave a kid in there. We'll leave it at 10 minutes because I don't think they'll have a good match, but we'll just throw them in there. And then we'll have Blue Kane and Levi Muir attacking them after after the match. Um, who was it? Levi Muir and Gabe Stevenson. 
and that might set that might set up a tag team match for afterburn because you never know that we might stumble across a super, uh, superstar tag team in the making kind of stalled my pushes with Luke Hay and Levi Moore because they're just they're just not very good in the ring and so I just don't think they justify their push um even though I just I like them but yeah right so we're going to do a one-on-one -on -one match now and we're going to have Edge not Eddie Dennis Edge versus Joseph Connors they have very good chemistry so we'll go 18 minutes I'll leave it blank. I'm going to go epic. See what? No. Spectacle. See what happens. It might ruin it. Actually, do you know what? I've got a feeling it's going to ruin it. So I'm just going to do storytelling for that one. I don't think they'd be able to keep up with the pace in a epic match. We'll do Joseph Connors attacking Edge after the match. Right, so we've got enough time to do a main event. And we're going to have Pack versus... Who do we put him against? I thought in my head, I, I had Darren Kearney again because they had such good chemistry, but I obviously got... Ah, that's who it was. It was Mark Haskins, who I've just recently signed, by the way. So hopefully this will be a banger. We'll go 20 minutes the heavyweight title and what we'll do is we'll go let's have a look at the aim for this spectacles let's get the fans uh using psychology to have drama with us no i'm just gonna leave it as high spots and then we'll go open match all that match and then what we'll do here we'll um go all the way down to here and we'll allow spinal allow high risk we'll leave it as that ah won't let's do it in a match that long so we'll try if we'll just do it 15 minutes then uh oh no i want Pat to win this there we go right that's it let's see how we get on i think this will be a good event so the pre-show match had superb wrestling decent reaction from the crowd riser riza or riser sarah um one does 60 rating um riser sarah with a 65 which isn't too bad giselle shaw with a 61 but the other, the other three were rubbish um Right, Valkyrie has won the women's title, got an 82 rating. She was the standout performer out of uh, the two. I feel like I'm just going to have to keep putting these two in matches with each other and then maybe every so often put them in like a four-way match or a tag team match either side because they're the only two women, decent women wrestlers I've got at the moment, so might as well just use them, try and make it a little bit interesting. The angle afterwards didn't do that well. Um... The angle to hype up the tag team match was not very good. The tag match itself was very good though. 81. Uh, everyone other than Amazing Red was brilliant. Darren Kearney with a 90. Mauro, Renara and Grado work extremely well together at the announcers table. Which somebody pointed out because I didn't even I didn't even pay attention to that. So thank you for letting me know in the comment section. I just find it funny that Mauro, Renaro and Grado would be in a announced duel together because I don't think Mar uh, Moro would be able to understand Grado and his, his thick Scottish accent. And I'm half Scottish, so I'm not being offensive to any Scottish people there. Um, 76 rating in the three versus three match, um, which isn't too bad. David Boy Smith Jr. got an 81. Bally and Bruiser got an 83. And the rest were just pants. Absolutely rubbish. I'm going to start cutting a lot of these wrestlers aren't, that aren't performing on the male side because the male roster is a bit big at the moment. So I think we need to just get rid of a few. Um, Dave Stevenson defeated Luke Kane, Levi Muir and A-Kid. Got a 71 rating. Dave Stevenson with an in-ring performance of 71, which isn't too bad. Um, Johnny Kidd did some good work at ringside. Luke Kane and Johnny Kidd are a good pairing. 
So I recently changed Blue Kane's manager from Kane to Johnny Kidd. So I thought it made sense because Johnny Kidd keeps is his mentor, so it's worked actually worked quite well. Uh, the angle after was only got a fifty row, and we're not bothered about that. Right, Edge defeated Joseph Connors in in seventeen minutes fifty six with the spear, got an eighty one rating. Edge only got sixty four, but Joseph Connors got an eighty five, and then obviously as as pointed out before, Edge and Joseph Connors have great chemistry, and also Tully Blanchard as Joseph Connors' manager has great chemistry as well. So maybe maybe give Joseph Connors a bit of a push in, uh, after a while. At the moment, I'm happy with Pack though. I think Pack needs to be the champion for a, a long time until until he he's no longer with us really. I think to be honest, or until I really do want to um, give Joseph Connors the title. But yeah. Angle after has got an 82, which is really good. And in the main event, Mark Haskins makes his debut, um, loses to Pac. And uh, Pac successfully, successfully defended his title for the second time. Got an 81 rating. Pac got an 82. Mark Haskins only with a 68, which is a bit annoying. Um, apparently, he was off his game. So but overall, really good. We've got an 80 rating. The show increased our popularity in 56 regions and look at that for a crowd 523 absolutely amazing the new we're setting records every every episode here our last i think the big crowd we had in the last episode was like just under 500 so we've already surpassed that now so that's really good and obviously we've improved our popularity in 56 regions across the world and it all adds up at the end of the day uh let's have a quick look at this uh, Few offers for wrestlers. Hey, a great opinion. A kid is charismatic. The kid is a future star, so that's good to know. Let's have a look at the viewing figures. Um, not point not one TV rating as usual. Three thousand nine hundred views, which is usual with twenty five thousand three hundred ninety eight altogether. So not too bad. Um, I I have to keep tinkering with the editor, so just ignore the finances because I just basically just. Every time I minus a certain amount, I just get rid of the minus mark. So we're not we're not doing that well financially. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to release her because she's leave, she wants to leave anyway. So we'll just get rid of her. But yeah, other than that, there's a few. Kimberly is off on concerns, leaving 14 days. We've got to give debuts to these two. Um, I've put Robbie Brookside as as Cy Brookside's manager now, so that'll get rid of this little thing on here. But make it easier to read. Um, our next show is in is tomorrow night, so I'll be back in a second. But I'm just going to have a quick look. Eighty percent momentum, twenty six prestige. We are thirty fourth in the world still. Uh, let's have a broadcasters. Are we going to? No, no new broadcasters. They're all the same. Oh no, wrong one. There we go. Right then, I'll see you in a second. Right, we're back for the next Afterburn episode. Um, yeah, sorry I had a brain fart earlier. I couldn't remember. I, in my head, I didn't, I didn't think I bothered. I didn't think I gave Pac the title, but I must have not. What I need to do is, before I start each episode, I need to just quickly go over a few things before I go online. <laughs> so I apologise for that. Right, and let's start the show. Um, I'm thinking to start the show, we'll go four versus four. And uh, we'll have Nathan Martin, Darren Kearney, Rich Swan, Rampage Brown versus um, Kid Life Cost 2 and who else? Who else can we put in there that's any good? We put a we'll leave A-Kid in there because he is starting to get over a bit so we'll leave him in there. Who else do we have? Thomas Billington hasn't wrestled for a while, but he's more of a... Oh, do you know what? I'll put Thomas Billington in there. He hasn't wrestled for a while, so we'll have him in there. And then maybe maybe Scotty Mack. I'm just seeing if there's anybody else. Do you know what? I'll put Luke Jacobs in there. Try and give these youngsters a bit more ring time with some really good workers, and hopefully they'll... Oh, oh for God's sake. There we go. Sorry about that. Right. Well, that's that and then what we'll do is we'll do a three versus three women's match like i said because we've got to keep we can't just have gulia versus valkyrie every match for the women's side 
Uh, Haruko, Kato will try her. I don't think she's wrestled for us for a while. Starfire, maybe Starfire. And then we'll put Valkyrie. Who else do we have with Valkyrie? Cassandra. And who really is the other one? There's somebody else I'm thinking of that hasn't made their debut yet, and I can't think who it is. Is it Tasu? Just no, I think she's already wrestled for us. Better man, I'm just gonna put her in there. Right, I'll do fifteen minutes, and then what we'll do is an angle afterwards. So we'll do um, Valkyrie fighting Julia Salim. So we'll do that, and then because I don't usually do storylines, but I think I can do. I probably could do with doing a storyline with these two women's wrestlers. Oh, for God's sake. So, um, so we'll do as storyline. We'll put Julia and Valkyrie. So this is like, I did do storylines when I first started this save. Um, no, not Gabe Stevenson. What's going on there? Yeah. Good thing I looked at that then. That would have been quite funny. Unintentional. Yeah, so that's that. So then that storyline starts today, technically, even though they've been having matches against each other. Right, so what I'm going to do now is we'll do 10-man singles match. And we'll have Gabe Stevenson. Um, and we'll have Blue Kane, Le Levi Mule. Cybernetico, Dalton Castle. We're just throwing people in here, basically. David Boy Smith. Oh, no, not Dave Mastiff again. Um, Griff. Grado. We can, I know we can't put Grado because he's a announcer, isn't he? Uh, Commander. Loretta Kid. There you go. Wild and Wonderful. 10-man tag. Hopefully it gets... Um, Dave Stevenson over a bit. Right, so we've done the full segment. Um, actually, I need to change this to this one because I need to do an angle because they like me to do at least six angles of bloody show. Drives me mad. We'll just do 10 minutes and then we'll do a beat down afterwards. We'll do Blue Cane, Fighting, Gabe Stevenson, Selling. I've already forgot. Oh, no, no, I was going to do tag team match when I gave Stevenson it was Levi Moore Blue Kane versus Gabe Stevenson and somebody else I think it was a kid um oh well I'll have to do it another time now we'll do that as a pre-show oh, we've gone we've gone over um angle there you go right so we're not going to be penalized the main event this show might not do very well but anyway the, the, the first match has done really well um the six-man tag um rich swan rampage brown and more sorry eight-man tag sorry um the team of rich swan rampage brown and more than high defeat a kid thomas billington uh luke jacobs and kid lycos uh got an 83 rating stand-up performers was rich swan darren kearney nathan martin thomas billington and Kid Lycos. So that's good. The. Is it free versus free? Yeah, free versus free match. Got 69 rating. Valkyrie. Uh, the heel team won of Valkyrie, Cassandra Miyagi, and Tsukushi. Um, I can't say that 10 times. Um, Starfire is absolutely rubbish. She needs to go. I need to get rid of her. Kato is not much better. Um, some of these will just have to be kept on the basis of just to fill the roster, the women's side of the roster out. But, um, yeah, Julia was stand-up performer, and then Valkyrie didn't do particularly well. Cassand uh, Cassandra Miyagi didn't do very well either. But, yeah, it's just, it is what it is. Unfortunately, the women's wrestlers on this database aren't rated very well, so it makes it a lot harder to have great matches with them. Angle after has got 55. Um, the angle with Blue Kane and Gabe Stevenson got 60. And then the main event, the chaotic 10-man match, um, Blue Kane won. Oh, there you go. Um... Gabe Stevenson with a 67. I think he was probably... Oh, no. David Boy Smith Jr. with a 74. So he was the best worker in the match. But, you know, Gabe Stevenson put a shift in. 
So yeah, no popularity change. Only got 69. 175 people turned up though, so that was a big crowd for an afterburn episode. But yeah, not the best of shows. Hopefully the next show we do is a bit better on the workers' side of things. But yeah, I'll be back in a minute. Right, we're back. And this is um the 50th episode of Afterburn. So everybody, we need to pat ourselves on the on the back for that one. We've done really well. Um, incident involving Jessica Love looked very scary looking. Um, Jessica Love has turned up wasting hard drugs. Right, we get rid of her. We are not having drug takers in this on this uh in this roster. Right, so we're gonna try as it's our fiftieth episode of Afterburn. We're gonna try and put on the best show we can. Um, unfortunately, that means probably don't think I should put maybe. Hmm. Should we do a one-on-one -on -one women match, but with a difference? Should we put it as, um, I don't think we can have anything too, too barbaric because I think it, I think it will just uh, not allow us, the TV network won't have it, let it happen. Uh, so we need to just do something, maybe a ladder match. So we do... Julia versus Valkyrie, the women's title, and then we'll do 15 minutes because I don't think Julia can go longer than that, open match, uh, all that match, because it's a ladder match, we will um, allow spinal moves, Allow high risk moves. We'll do that. And we'll leave it. Oh, I don't. Ah, see, it won't let us do a ladder match. That's such a shame. I mean, it's just a ladder match. It's not that, but there's way worse matches than this. They're all bloody hardcore matches, though. There's no. I mean, we could do an Iron Man match, but there's no way we're going to do a 60 minute Iron Man match. They'll just, they'll just, they'll just die in the ring. Empty arena, oh, empty arena, we can't do, right, hold on then, let's knock this prestige down to average, see what it comes up with, cage, we'll do a cage escape match, are you sure you want it, yeah, yeah that's fine, at least it's something different, and then what we'll do is, uh, we'll do Valkyrie attacking Guria after the match to advance the storyline, So that's that and then what we'll do now is we'll do edge it lets me edge versus who do we have him against tempted to do darren kearney yeah do you know what darren kearney for 18 minutes we'll leave it blank and what we'll do is, uh, I don't know, have I just accidentally done an alley fight match? No. Oh, it's a good thing I checked that. Right, normal match, thank you. There we go. And then what we'll do, an angle with Nathan Martin, microphone, pack, microphone. Then we'll have versus Nathan Martin for the title. We'll go 20 minutes, heavyweight title. Um, we'll have Pac retain it, open match. And we'll go steal the show. Ah, we can't have Nathan Martin in a match that long. 17 minutes. 15 minutes then. Right, so we've done 69 minutes, we've gone over, which is annoying. What we'll do then is knock that down by three minutes, knock that down by one minute, and then it should correct itself. There you go. Bit of a shame, but it is what it is, because obviously, God forbid, we don't have any angles. I wish I could just get rid of that so I don't need to have angles. I'd rather just have all matches, to be honest. 
angles are boring for me. Right, um, Valkyrie defeated Gulia in a cage match, got an 80 rating, so at least there's that. And then the storyline has advanced as well, so that's good. We're getting a good start to the storyline. Um, I forgot, I oh, know it has, it has advanced, it's alright. 56 for the angle, and then the Darren Kearney match. Oh, bloody hell, that's a surprise. Darren Kearney defeated Edge. That's a bit of a shock. Um, 74 for Edge, 87 for Darren Kearney. Darren Kearney is like a super worker. He's like Mark Andrews version 2 at the moment. He's better than Nathan Martin as well. And Nathan Martin has been really good. It's a shame we haven't got Mark Andrews and Morgan Webster. I, I would have liked to have done um, more than the hype versus Mark Andrews and Morgan Webster. That would have been a Absolute banger of a tag team match. Um, yeah, the angle with Pack and Nathan Martin got a 75. And then the match got a 90 rating. Um, Pack retains his title. And both wrestlers got an 82. So not too bad. Didn't improve popularity, but we got an 84 rating for the show and 168 people turned up. So that's really, really promising. Um, and obviously makes up for the last show, which was kind of a bit chaotic last Afterburn episode. Um, I'll have a quick look at this, and then I'm going to call it a day for this episode. But as 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 usual, as hopefully as possible, um, there will be a another episode. Touch wood, as long as nothing happens in my personal life, um, are coming out on Saturday. So I'm going to re record it today. And it'll be out on Saturday, so it shouldn't be an issue unless something happens the next half. No. <laughs> but right, um, before we go, let's just have a look at the Momentum 80, 26 Prestige. Next show is in six days' time, so yeah. Right. Um, right then. Hold on. Let me do this. Oh, for God's sake. Um, come on, stupid mouse pad. I'll give up in a sec. There we go. There we go. Sorry about that, everyone. Technical difficulties. But anyway, thank you for watching as usual. Um, thank you for your support. I always appreciate comments. Thank you for people who have been giving me advice when it comes to booking and stuff like that. It's always appreciated. Feel free to comment and stuff like that. Um, just to let you know before I go, I've got a better than you MJF t-shirt. So there you go. And that's so, right. Um, on that note, I'm never good at these type of things, intros or outros, but yeah, I'll leave you to it and I'll be back on Saturday with another episode. See you later.